Hey, welcome to my house. And you're joining me on a lovely evening while I am winding down from a long day personal training. This video is basically for me to show you who I am, why I am who I am, what I do, and why people might perceive me as being a little bit daft because I am a little bit different. But basically, this video is just to show you that I am a little bit more approachable than most people think PTs are. So I fully understand that lots of my content and lots of content that you will see through the majority of personal trainers are dictated by the social norms of our industry. And that is six pack man and you gotta get them glutes girl. So that is one aspect to this industry and it's one aspect that I also have to delve into as a personal trainer that is offering a service which will get you the body that you dream of and that's all fair and I understand that and that's absolutely brilliant I love getting people bodies but one other aspect of what I love why I do what I do is also setting mindset and making people happy with the results that they get and having it on a sustainable period of time, which is why some of my clients have been with me for so long. And if you know me or if you know of any of the results that I've had, some of them are quick fixes, but a lot of my clients stay with me for quite a while. And when they do leave, they don't change, which is absolutely brilliant. But going back on to my story, I want you to understand why I am why I am and it's basically because of my experience leading up to the point where I decided that I was going to be a personal trainer and change other people's lives for the better and it starts when I was 16. Uh, when I was 16 I started off in the fitness industry. I actually started off as a lifeguard but I also worked in the gym in Balamina Leisure Centre and that was a long time ago now. I'm 28 going on really 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 old. So. <laughs> Um, I've been in the industry teaching for a long, long time on fitness alone. But if you move on from then, I then went on to become a teacher within the outdoors, so an outdoor instructor. And that meant that I was teaching windsurfing, sailing, canoeing, lots and lots of different types of sports, climbing, archery, so many different sports with lots and lots of different outcomes and like uh, there was different uh, learning styles that had to be taught within that as well but because I was working in a centre one of them being Share Holiday Village which is a multi-ability centre and it's labelled as that which means that anybody with any ability can go there and learn any sport that they teach so coming from that I had to learn how to come down and up two levels where I might have taught a complex subject such as archery to someone with learning disabilities or something like sailing to somebody that is ADHD. So in going through that process, I have built those transferable skills where I can teach a complex subject to, I feel, nearly anybody. So this could maybe help you understand why I am, why I am, and why I have lots of different clients as opposed to like one niche. Um, based on that as well, going from outdoor instructor and I then went on to youth work. I still dabbled into outdoor instructing as well and I was always had my foot in the door with uh, fitness but I went on to youth work and I worked in three youth centres and a hub as well within a, a high school and I also learned how to work with lots of different people on coming to a different level where I had to teach not only like a physical activity but I had to teach um, maths and English and I had to teach drama and I also had to teach like bits and pieces where the young people had to learn how to be nearly accepted by society because they were deemed not what society expected from them as young people. So going into personal training I fully understand that personal trainers are expected to have six packs, they're expected to have biceps and all the rest of it and I try to keep myself within that so I train hard and lots of my content is dictated to by that so you'll see me training hard with my delts out or my pecs out but what you don't get to see is the changes in people's lives that come from within um, so a lot of what I do with people would be coming back all the way back to the start 
fixing the fundamentals physically and we also change the way that they look at exercise in order to change their lifestyle outside of the gym. So one of the biggest things for me is if you are comfortable being able to live life, then you are fit and healthy. So if you need to run for the bus because you're late for work, one, it's probably because you're not sleeping properly, so we need to address that. And two, you should be able to run for the flipping bus. So fitness is holistic. You have to look at it in ways where you have to be fit for purpose. If you cannot lift your child from a trolley to the car without tweaking your back, you're not fit. If you can't go up the stairs without huffing and puffing, you're not fit. But if you're fit for the things that you do, then fitness is the way forwards. And this is what I work on. So I try to make your life comfortable. But in doing that, your hour with me is quite uncomfortable. <laughs> That's, I'm not going to lie, it's quite uncomfortable. But the aim of this video is for you to see a little bit as to what I am and why I do what I do. Hopefully from this video you can tell that I am not your typical PT. Because, well, biceps is not my life. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a windsurfer freak. But having said that, I do understand that some of you will want to come to me for not just the mindset, but you will want to have bodies. And if you have a look at my social media, you'll see that I can change you physically as well. So I just want to wrap it up and just saying that I don't want you to look at me in a way where you can't approach me and ask me questions. Because the chances are, if you come up to me in the gym floor and ask me, how do you do something? I'm going to tell you, I might not even charge you. <laughs> So I want you to see me as not only just a personal trainer, but someone that you can come to with questions about absolutely anything on your journey to becoming a more successful person in fitness and in your whole fucking life. And yes, I swore I will speak to you soon.